in this video i'm going to clearly demonstrate to you how you can properly fix your own plug top but before i begin there are a few tools i need to introduce to you that are going to help you to do that properly um, first of all i have a cable stripper that i will use to strip off the insulation from the conductor before i connect to the plug and i also have a screwdriver this is a crosshair screwdriver i will also need that then i will need a cable cutter then for accuracy, I will also need a tape measure to take some measurement. Then, after everything, I will need um, my multimeter to check if what I have done is perfectly correct. Alright, but I need to quickly comment that if you don't have a multimeter, still you can follow the, the steps and then properly wire your own laptop without any problem. So, first of all, we get our cord because we are connecting it into the plug and we want it to be properly done so that after connection you don't see the wires exposed we want all the cord to be inside the plug and so we take a measurement we measure about four centimeters of the cable so i mark four centimeters here good all right so now the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to remove the sheet from the cable so that the three wires will be available for connection all right the sheet is the outer covering or the outer insulation on the cord so we need to remove that to expose the three wires now let's look at the plug itself so when you look at the plug already the manufacturer has given a diagram that you can follow to properly do your connection but well, let's go all right so the next step is that we open the plug by removing the center screw so we're losing the center screw and then make sure you keep the screw safely so that it doesn't get lost then we remove the back cover after removing the back cover we have a cable clamp here we will also have to loosen it and remove one completely all right so this is the screw that holds the clamp i have removed one totally all right okay so let's look inside the plug we have live that is colored brown neutral that is colored blue Air that is colored yellow and green okay so the next step is that you look at the arrangement of the terminals and then you put your cables on it so we want to cut our cables according to where they are going so looking at this you realize that the edge the earth wire should be the longest among them because it's coming far away to the top. Then the blue wire is also connecting here. So there is some excess we can cut off. Do your measurement, then you cut off the excess. And then you see that brown is ending at this terminal. So you measure and then you cut off the excess wire so the next thing is that you use a wire stripper if you don't have a wire stripper you can equally use the cable cutter to remove the insulation from the cables that you will be connecting to the terminal or to the plug all right you should make sure that you strip the cable in a way that when you are connecting it the conductor itself shouldn't be exposed look at the size of the terminal and then you peel your cable accordingly okay so having removed the insulation from the parts that will be connecting to the terminals the next step is that we can now start by terminating our cables into the plug make sure when tightening it you should do it very well tighten it to the maximum neutral cable and once again you notice that all the metal or all the copper has fully entered into the terminal before I start screwing all right so that done we are left with the last but not the least cable to connect that is our live connect it into the terminal okay all right so after connecting you notice that a part of the sheet the sheet is the coat on the wires 
the, the little part of it is still inside the plug so that the wires will not be exposed. Okay, so after that, you dress your connected wires nicely. After that, the next thing to do is that you clamp the cord. Okay, so I will have to loosen this screw a little. So we clamp the cord, and then we bring back the screw. Make sure the screw enters the hole on the clamp, and then you screw. Alright, having done that, we are left with the back cover. So you bring back your back cover and then you put it back gently. Then you bring back the center screw and you tighten that also. So that is the end of our lesson on how to fix a 13 arm 3 pin plug. All right. All right. So this is a multimeter which I'm going to use to check for the continuity of my cables all right don't worry i'll be teaching you in my subsequent videos how to use the multimeter properly so just subscribe and then keep updated if the cable is continuous i should hear a sound and then a red light should come on on the multimeter all right so i would like to start from the live so live at the socket then live on the plug Okay, and so that tells me that the live wire is continuous. Then I move to the neutral. So this tells me that all the cables in this cord are properly working. And so we can safely uh, use this extension. Thank you very much for watching. And I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and look forward to more exciting and educative